Hey guys, over the last few weeks, if you've been following, we've been showing you some towns and more of the budget side and what you can get for your money here in Bali. But today, we're showing you an entirely different side, the more luxurious side. Welcome to the Viceroy Bali. This just might be, it just might be, the best hotel on the whole island. showing you around the property today and all the amenities but first off let's just go into the location this place couldn't be in a better spot it's right outside Ubud so it's super quiet but it's like a 10 minute drive into town and they have a shuttle service to take you there can we just talk about the gardens here for a second if we take a look around this is absolutely beautiful there's all this overgrown greenery we have this whole garden to ourselves right now there are statues and then there's this greenhouse and in the greenhouse, they grow all their own vegetables for the restaurant. So far, this is really impressive and we just got here. We just got here. If you've been following our channel for a while, you know from time to time we get to show you these amazing hotels, these luxurious hotels. And we're so excited about that and we feel so spoiled and we so, feel so incredibly lucky to get to do that. We really hope you guys enjoy it because we know this, we are loving this place so far. However, if you happen to be new to the channel, I am Anna, behind the camera is Trevor. We Hola. are delightful travelers. You should uh, definitely subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell because that's how you find out when we have new videos out. So just to give you a little bit of background about this property, uh, it is a family owned hotel. It's about 10 years old at the moment mm -hmm. and they're actually currently expanding as we're here and in 2019 they're going to be opening up I think 15 more rooms. Oh, that's a lot. And there's a whole bunch of amenities. Okay, so for one, there is a conference room with this all, there's all these books in there. So you can clearly just come and have meetings. It looks like a very great room. There's actually a boutique. And from what we can tell just by looking in, you can buy pretty much any kind of clothing you want. So that's really cool. There is a gym and it has everything. So it's like a full on gym, not just one treadmill. There's ellipticals, there are weights, there's universal machines. There's about everything you want. And there's also two restaurants. Right, and you might be needing that gym after eating at these two <laughs> amazing restaurants. <laughs> exactly. There's also a spa which we have yet to check out but it sounds Wait. incredible. So we already mentioned the location to you but if you're wondering it's Ubat is about um, an hour and a half depending on traffic from the airport. However, we just discovered a helicopter pad, so if you're so inclined, you could just take a helicopter here. I think it would be like 15 minutes. Uh, one second. Let me show you what else we just discovered. There is an amazing infinity pool over here, and uh, we're definitely going to maybe go in that a little later, but uh, we heard that every villa here maybe has a pool. They do. I think each villa has its own pool, so you don't even need to use this pool if you don't want to, but you should because it's gorgeous. So we just came into the main restaurant, it's called Cascades. To start off, we have a cold towel because it's really hot out. Feels good. So this is one of two restaurants here on the property. This one is called Cascades, as Anna said. The other one is called Aperitif. And as you can see from the footage here, it is very unique. And it looks like it's from the 1920s in a way. 
but Cascades right here is also very interesting. So there is a selection of wine. There are pretty much is any kind of wine that you could possibly want here and also at the bar area well the pool is behind it and you can swim up to the bar to order a drink which is very awesome um, but also there's a selection of spirits and from what I can tell just by looking there's also every kind of spirit that you would want so so far this is looking really good okay guys the food has arrived take a look at this we got some spring rolls and they're called Balinese and Balinese spring rolls is a tough one to say look how crispy those look look at the sauce that comes with it here but also we got which could be the showstopper here uh, me go rang so it's a bunch of fried noodles there's an, some egg on top and I think there's some yummy looking vegetables inside so we're uh, well, we're gonna dig into this now let's do it so this comes with two different sauces this one has um, some chilies in it I'm definitely putting this on Ooh, that's gonna add a little bit of heat which we're Save all about you. and the other one um, is well, it looks, looks like some veggies. Well, yeah, it looks like some veggies. Some pickly things. It's a little fresh. Well, I think this is going to be really good. All right, I am ready to go. That's a big old bite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it looks like it's a it's a good one. Mm -hmm. it sounds like it's a good one by your mm -hmm. <laughs> Who's one of these dishes? Ooh, I see. I could eat every single day. <laughs> so it's like uh, fried. Rice noodles, I'm pretty sure. They kind of look like ramen noodles, like they're curly like that. A little bit of crunch from the carrots. You got the egg in there. I think there's some chicken. I don't know if you mentioned that, but there's some chicken in there. Huh. That sauce is super spicy. I didn't even get a chili and it was spicy. That's a definite good dimension, but don't add that sauce <laughs> if you're not into spice. Because, whew, I'm on fire. Mm. When I shake my head, no. It means it's really good, guys. <laughs> I'm just going to echo what Anna said, but I can't really add anything to that other than it is fantastic. But let's try some spring rolls. So let's dip it in some sauce down here. They're pretty sure vegetarian spring rolls, yes? Yeah? Oh, they're vegetarian spring rolls. Okay, yeah. I did not know that, but um, that's good. Oh, my. These are fantastic. I've never had a Balinese spring roll. Like it, we've had Thai spring rolls. It does remind me of that a little bit. Um, the phyllo here, or like the crust, I'm not sure what to call that, is super crispy. And you can see it's like glistening a little bit. It's really flavorful. And inside, there's all these um, with the vegetables, of course. And just look how good that looks. I'm not sure if you can see that or not, but overall, you don't even need the sauce. They're just good on their own. Oh my, I'm so happy that we ordered this. What a combination. So far, the food here has been on point. Uh, that was incredible. Uh, the showstopper on that plate, um, I think I'm speaking for both of us here, was the mi rang. The mi rang was so good. It's actually very similar to nasi goreng, but that's made with uh, rice instead yeah. of the rice noodles. We actually tried that in Singapore, and if you want to watch that, you can pick up here. Yeah, and guys, I don't think we talked enough about this pool behind us. So, this is the main pool that you can kind of see in the frame here, and it's an infinity pool. There's chairs all around it. It's one of the best infinity pools I've ever seen because we're over this kind of valley. Um, so it's really cool. Also, you can get drinks to your chair and everyone's just kind of hanging out and chilling. So it's one of the best things about this place. I'd really like to jump in. However, we need to take you back to our room. Just wait for it. Welcome to our room. First things first, we're going to show you our very favorite spot. Oh, wow. This is our own private pool. This is not shared. This is for our room. Look, so there's a gazebo here. This is absolutely beautiful. Look at the detail in it. And then this pool. An infinity pool. An infinity pool. <laughs> there's a fountain, guys. And now over here you can start to see the infinity edge. I also think, did they say that this can be heated? heated. Yeah. So yeah, you can call them and they'll heat it up for you. Wow, there's also two loungers here as well and then you got this view i can't overlook the view this is all jungle over here one thing you can't overlook is all the balinese details like this door behind us no look at the, the detail look at the door like it's so intricate there's it's so designed there's so much detail this whole area of the pool is so calm you can just hear the fountain the gazebo is just it just puts this place over the edge it's unbelievable it's so relaxing and tranquil i don't think we're going to want to leave 
Now we are back in the room. How are we gonna show you around here? There's so many details, it's huge. I think we start over here. Okay. So, there is a desk. It's got every kind of outlet that you need. There's a really big TV. Um, there's a mini bar hidden around here somewhere. Here. Yeah, so there is a mini bar, which is great. There's also this really big um, Bluetooth speaker, which is very handy, we'll be using that. And there's a coffee machine over here. Super fancy dancy. Yeah, so uh, we'll be having some good coffee, that's for sure. And over here, there's a seating area. I know, it's so comfy. Then, we just checked in, they brought this fresh fruit. And behind Anna over here, well, there's a very big king-size bed. What I like about this, there's all these um, like Balinese artwork and little uh, ornaments all around throughout the whole room, but how comfortable does this bed look? Behind me is a walk-in closet. It's got like your safe and your mirror and all that important stuff. But I think what makes this room feel like really big and open is the ceiling. I know, yeah. so the ceiling has to be at least, oh, 20 feet uh, in the air there. So it's a really, really nice touch. But this, well, this might be our other favorite part, minus the outside. Maybe our favorite bathroom ever? Uh, I think it just might be. The main attraction in this bathroom is the tub. I guarantee you I'm gonna be using that. Look at it, beautiful. Behind me is the shower. It's so big. Look at the shower head. I know, the shower head. Oh, it's gonna be a nice shower, I can guarantee you that. And there is a separate water closet on the other side. Alright guys, we really hope you've enjoyed the tour of this property. It's absolutely gorgeous. We love when we have the opportunity to stay in places like this. So in the last couple weeks we've been in like Chengdu and Seminyak. This is kind of the other side of it, of Bali. It's so important to see this as well because it's just like so amazing. And oh. Yeah, it's so special to be able to be here. And in those places we were staying in more budget um, accommodations, yes. which is great too, but then it's so nice to be able to come and do this. And it's great to have the possibility because it's like, when you're in places like Chengdu and Seminyak, staying in places like we just did, you're not spending very much, so it gives no. you the opportunity to have a little bit more of a budget to be able to spend at places like this. Yeah. And we highly recommend, even if you can only do it for a night, definitely try to if you if you can. I think it's one of the best things about Bali. You can do something like this, <laughs> and you can do um, what we've been doing so far. So it's just, it's really perfect. Now guys, if you haven't uh, got a chance yet, make sure to go back and watch our last video because we were looking for like the best, the best breakfast we could find in Bali. And we I think we hit up the right places. Including this place. Yeah, this place was just ah, so good. Every All the food in Bali is just, in general... Uh, exceeded expectations. Exceeded expectations. Now, in the next video, oh, I can't wait for this one because I, although we are in Ubud right now, we're going to be exploring more of the town to show you guys around because it has so much to offer. Alright guys, that's it. From the Viceroy, wishing you delightful travels. See you soon.